hi the internet <coughs> i'm here with a different video in this video i'm going to show you guys how to repaste and clean up your lenovo yoga book 520 how to repaste the cpu and clean the fan so let's get into it first thing first you want to flip it over remove all the screws at the bottom cover they are over one two three four five six seven eight nine ten screws in total all the screws are the same size and height so just remove them they're simple the middle screw they might have a little plastic over it remove the little plastic and then you will see the screw and just remove it all right once you have the screws lifted you want to open your laptop in 45 degree angle then you want to grab your opening tool from the set or just grab any guitar picking in my case um shove it in between the top and the bottom cover and then wiggle it around you're going to hear some clicks to on the other side and then once you see that it comes out loose a little bit then close it and then grab the cover on top and then wiggle it around and it should come out you might have to work all around a little bit on the back side probably with uh, your opening tool just a little bit you have to twist it around sometimes it comes easy sometimes it costs a little more wiggling around all right once you remove the bottom cover there we have the CPU and the heatsink and the fan. First thing first, you want to remove the battery or unplug the battery. To unplug the battery, just grab the cables and pull it, pull the jack towards the battery. There we go. Just pull that out, leave it like that. Next, you want to remove the heatsink. There's only three screws holding it, so remove the three screws. They're all the same size, so don't worry about it. Once you remove the screws, grab the heatsink from the back. Don't grab it from here. Grab it from this tiny tail and just lift it up. If you grab it from here and if the thermal paste is really glued in, then you're going to bend the pipe. So grab it from this side and lift it up. Ooh. When they overdo with the heatsink, with the thermal paste, this is what happens. All right, you want to clean up all the you want to clean up the heatsink if you have any dust over here build up clean up the fan with a toothbrush make sure all the entrance or exit is nicely and clean clean it with an alcohol there we go and then clean up the motherboard the cpu i mean Don't worry if you have a little bit of what do you call thermal paste on the motherboard, nothing's gonna happen, it's not conducted. So yeah. Now that we have the CPU cleaned out and this one cleaned out, what I suggest you guys to do to bend this leg a little bit backward to get more tension towards the CPU, it really helps out. Just a little bit. If you pay attention, you can see that I just bend this ones upward a little bit. And there we go. Then grab your thermal paste. I'm gonna use an Arctic MX4. One tiny drop on each crystal die. And then you wanna grab your heat sink. Align, once you put it down, don't lift it up. Put it right there and to put the screws you can go cross stitch them or just follow the number there's a number one two three go the way it says but i rather hold it from this side and put number three first and don't let go of that one hold it i'm holding it with my pinky and then put this one right here so you balance the pressure right there so i do three two and one while I'm holding the heatsink in place. All right, once you did that, uh, pretty much you're all set and you're ready to go. So clean the bottom cover, the filter right here with a toothbrush or anything because the air goes right through here and sucks it right there and goes from the back side. So yeah. And the last thing is to put the bottom cover right on. Oh, 
you have to plug in the battery, remember. Grab the battery cable, slide it right in place, and pull it towards the jack, and lift the cables right. There we have. Now you're gonna push down the side, make sure you hear those clicks, and you're all set. And the last thing you need to put the bottom cover screw. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next video.